Hello, thank you for joining the senior management team of Fair Threads, an ethically run clothing manufacturer. I'm Samantha Mason, Chief Executive Officer, and I'd now like to invite my colleagues to introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Alex and I'm Head of Information. Hi, I'm Rachel and I work in Administration. I'm John and I'm Head of Finance. I'm Matthew, Head of Research. So, the first item on the agenda is something that Matthew has brought to us uh, regarding staff working from home. Matthew, can you give us a little bit of a background on the proposal? Okay, thanks. Um, I've been talking to the team, uh, we had a staff meeting last week, and they feel very strongly that they would really appreciate it if the organisation took a view on staff working from home. As you know, they have slightly different jobs to some of their colleagues in that they are doing a lot of writing and not necessarily answering the phones. They find it extremely difficult to concentrate in an office as busy as ours. And they'd like to feel that their working from home was endorsed by some kind of policy view rather than something that was a bit ad hoc and mm. made to feel guilty about. Um, so I've been asked to bring this issue to the senior management team on their behalf. Well, we've never objected to staff working from home before. If from time to time members of your team want to work from home, that, that's fine. I mean, why do you feel that we need to put a policy in place regarding this? I mean, why can't we just continue as we are, if you see what I'm saying? Well, we can. But I guess they feel there can be some issues. And some other colleagues may feel differently. Uh, and there are probably some procedural issues about the practical things. Okay. Well, why don't we ask the others on what they think? Uh, John? Well, to me, this is just another pie in the sky scheme that's been put forward. Has anyone done any work on costing? Are we going to be providing computers for them? There will be some insurance implications too. I just don't think this has been very well bought out yet. Well, costings are certainly a concern. Anyone else? Alex, how do you feel about this? I don't see costing as that much of an issue given that most of our members have computers at home already, so that would be one less thing to worry about. I think it's a very good idea for our members or some of our members to work from home, particularly ones with families, as they will be able to have more input with them during the holiday period. I also feel that they would be less stressed if they could do work or something more important like a big project from home. Mm, thank you for that. That is definitely an endorsement. Alex? <coughs> Rachel? I actually work in administration and I know it wouldn't be possible for some of my team to work from home. Um, and we have children too, so it would be fair to one section of the team and not to another. So I don't think it's a good idea at all, unless you want to present an image of alienating certain members of staff. Well, I can see it's going to be difficult to make this fair across the board. John, uh, regarding the insurance angle, would we be liable if um, employees sustained an injury at home? Yes, there are certainly health and safety implications here, and I think we should look further into this before I can answer for sure. Okay, well, obviously we have relevant concerns on all sides. Matthew, you've heard the feedback. Uh, what do you think? The only additional thing I would say is that it is a competitive market out there and flexible working is increasingly something that happens in our kind of field and family friendly working is too. I do think it's something we should look at and there may be reasons as well that I need to hear as to why it's not going to work but I do think it's something we should continue to explore because I think the team would feel very fed up if it was just bopped on the head at this point. Well, yeah, we certainly have some very strong arguments in favour, including flexibility, accommodating working parents, and we're all aware of how busy the office can get, making it a very difficult environment to work in. We're overcrowded, the phones ring all the time, and it's something that John and I have been trying to address. So yes, there are certainly positives, except for when it comes to Rachel's team, where the uh, proposal isn't so attractive. And of course, cost is a major concern. I mean, John and I have presented you with the financial statement for this year, and we just need to be realistic about what we can achieve. So, moving forward, Matthew, can I ask that you, uh, with John perhaps, uh, look at uh, researching this proposal further, look at other organisations that have taken this practice on board, the costs involved uh, in regards to insurance, and then present us with that information at the next meeting. 
Yes, that's fine. John, that's Robbie. Yes, that's fine. Okay, well, our next meeting is scheduled for a fortnight's time, and you will give a joint presentation then. Okay, well, we'll um, get together and set a date to meet up before the next meeting. Let's get it in the diary today. Excellent. Well, if that's all on that item, we'll move on to the next one, which is the strategic plan. Mm -hmm. Now, I take it everyone's read the papers? 